Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Return of the Exile. All right, we're still here in the Grim Angels hideout. Came up to the top floor. And probably leader over here, Kiefer, so we're going to talk to him next and see what's going to happen. There's a couple other Grim Angels up here, too, along with some locked chests. Let's see what this guy's going to say. Look who's back. How did the disposal go? Did you do as you were told? Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to have to lie to him. Uh, lie. Yes, of course. The body hit the bottom of the ocean. Good. That's good. One more job I got for you. Then I get you to Talon to have you something bigger. All right. And what would that be? There's the Merchant's Guild here in the slums of Cordur. Ruthless money-making criminals. I'm sorry, I thought that you... Yes, I know. We were also like that, but... We don't hide behind our fancy buildings or doing business with the Emperor. <laughs> we supply the poor, and we steal only from the ones that don't deserve their fortune. I'm touched. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so, where was I? Ah, yeah. The dock workers have been complaining about their wages. They think they deserve more, so they wanted to talk it out with the heads of the guild. Of course, these capitalists refuse to even having a peaceful conversation, so now the workers are on strike and came to us for help. We need someone that is not a known face in the slums to go in and search for the finance books of the guild. Find out if they have some dirt behind them that we can use to blackmail them. If you find something, take it with you and bring it here. Then we'll talk about your demands. This is for the previous job. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Don't come back without evidence on the guild, got it? All right, what did he give us? 450 experience points, and we got 200 gold pieces. All right. Uh, fine, I'll do it. Just tell me where the guild is. You'll find it easy. Central slums. Protesters outside, and be fast. All right. All right. I wonder if we can do anything with these chests. It's for the hell, but let's give it a shot here. Hopefully these guys don't try to attack us if we open them. <laughs> Success not possible. DC is 40. And we're rolling 33s. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we still have that, that helmet we need to identify yet, too. How can Let's I help? pass that off to Nylee. And she cannot identify it. Hmm. Her lore was pretty good, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it's 8. Yes. Walloran, he's only 4. Hmm. Yes. All right, we can... We're going to have to get that thing identified at some shop somewhere. Let's just leave it here for now. All right, now, what kind of picks do we have? We got plus three picks and plus six picks. So if I use a plus six, and we got plus ones too. Hmm. Potion of power. What did that bring it up by? It effectively raises the Embibber's level, level and it can be used by all character classes. This increases hit points, attack bonus, thieving abilities, although it does not raise a sneak attack ability. Hmm. I don't think that's going to be enough, though. We need something. Yeah, to raise up his dexterity. Hmm. All right, in the meantime, let's look at these other chests. We can come back here later, too, once we level up. And this one's also DC 40. And what is this one? And that one's DC 42. All right. I guess we can come back to this place later. I'm sure I'll dig through my magical items here and find some ways to increase dexterity or some such. All right, let's get out of here. All right, well, I guess we're done there. Let's see, is something new on the map now? Yeah, this Merchant's Guild is the place we need to go for that quest. Let's go see what else is down this way. There was a door we passed by back here, too. Let's go take a quick look. And see if there's anything interesting in there. It was around the corner here, wasn't it? Right, these guys are pounding each other. Uh, and maybe it was over here farther. I'm trying to remember where it was. 
Yeah, here it is. Let's go see what this is. A strange room. Hmm. Doesn't appear there's anything in here. We must have to come back to this later. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, well, at least we know what's there. Uh, let's see. Let's come back. Who is this? Just a bunch of commoners. Here's the lusty wench. Yeah, we passed by something back here, too. Oh, look at that. Just <laughs> dead guy laying there. Alright, we talked to those guys already. Let's see what was over here. More commoners. Alright, this guy know anybody? Nope. Nothing of interest. You stole from us for too long. Oh, there's some more, uh... Pages here from that journal. Let's see what this one says. Let's read this one. Day 33, midnight. I hear them scream. Every night. In the room next to mine. Why are they doing this? Will they eventually come for me too? <laughs> yeah, that's regarding that insane asylum that's up here to the northwest. Alright, and there's nothing in here. Alright, and this is the Merchant's Guild here? Yes. That must be the protesters he was talking about. Alright, I don't see anything else of interest over here. You stole from us for too long. The whole dock support. We have rights. We never give up. <laughs> Alright, is there anybody else out here? Nope. Let's go ahead and deal with this then. Alright. Who's this guy? A bureaucrat. So, how may I help you? You just arrived in Cordour, I presume? That's right, and I need to collect a package from your vaults. As long as you fill these papers, initials here, and here, <laughs> one more here, and to the right. Almost done. Let me just seal these, and initial here. One more time, please. To the box, right. And the last one. The joy of bureaucracy, huh? <laughs> I don't get it. Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Forget about it. So what happens now? You need to get clearance for the different areas of the building. What exactly is it that you want to collect? I don't really know. They said something like an envelope. No, wait. A package. A package needs clearance for the storage area. And envelope for the archive room, where all data of the guild is also stored. An envelope, then. Fair enough. You have to seek the head of the department in one of the offices behind the door. Good luck and farewell. Farewell to you, too. <laughs> Alright, I don't see anything else in here that we can rifle through. Alright, let's go through here. Alright, we have several doors. Long hallway going to another one. That one's locked. Let's go down here first, I guess. And Yahilda. Let's see what she says. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, there's nothing in here apparently. Alright, that one's locked. Let's check this one. And we have Colbert. Who has nothing to say. And there's nothing in here. Alright, who's next? Another bureaucrat. How may I be of aid to you? I need access to the archives. Oh, I see. Have you gotten all the paperwork signed at the entrance? Yes, it's done. You have to excuse me, but I have to check that myself. Hmm. Wait here. <laughs> so, it is true. You are checked in. Unfortunately, I'm not responsible for giving access to the archives. <laughs> and who is? You have to go to the next office and talk to Colbert. His responsibilities include allowing access beyond other things. He's a grumpy old man, though. I warn you. <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta come back over here and talk to Colbert, then. Greetings, fellow partner. How may I aid you? I'm in need of an envelope. I was sent here to collect it. Did you sign in the entrance? Yes, I did sign in. 
Okay, then let me check for a moment. <laughs> Why is there so much control? The guild handles all dock business. What comes in, what goes out, you can imagine how much effort this takes. And how is business? Can't complain. After a while, you get accustomed to it. You have no troubles with the thugs here? No, can't say that we do. Business brings goods in Cordur, and goods bring fellas with fat pockets. So we're all happy, I guess. <laughs> in any case, I checked your papers, and you are missing an unchecked spot. If you go and sign it, please, then we'll continue with your request. <laughs> all right. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Uncheck spot. All right. We need to go down here now. Pleasure doing business. Oh, we got to go back up front and let him know there's an uncheck spot here. Welcome back. Meaning our business is over? I wish. The other guy said I forgot to put my initials somewhere. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, it was not a big deal after all. I could just forward it without that particular document. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, not at all. Go see him again and tell him it's all good. <laughs> Bunch of damn bureaucrats, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Colbert. So, everything's in order? A little bit too much in order, I would say, but yes. So now that everything is filed, I can give you clearance for the archives. But, before I do that, you have to take a little interview with the guild's second-in-command. One by the name of Yahilda. Security measures, routine questions. You understand. You'll find her in one of the other offices in the corridor. Jeez, man. Alright, let's go talk to Yahilda, then. Welcome to the guild. How may I be of assistance? Colbert said something about an interview. Ah, yes. Here to collect, then? I'm going to ask you some questions about your whereabouts and your answer. Shouldn't be hard if you are legally here. I'm ready. State your name, please. Um. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Let's just bluff, I guess. Tommy Undergallows. Success. This is a nice name, really. I have no records of you arriving in the city, but... A name like that doesn't seem like a fake. <laughs> Next question. Which ship did you arrive in within Cordur? Hmm. I'll have to check in with you later. Excuse me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Let me guess. We gotta go down to the docks and see if we can find a ship name. Jeez, man. Alright, of course this quest wasn't gonna be as easy as you thought it was, huh? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alright, let's see, do these protesters say anything else besides just ranting and raving? Yes. Nope. Alright. And let's see, can we get any further this way? Yes, we can. Let's see, where was this at? Alright, this is where that uh, one room was with the pentagram on the floor, I think. Let's go down here then. Another beggar. And who is this? Homeless! These guys know anything? Nope. Hey there. I heard Jack Black will appear at the theater. If only I had a gold to buy a ticket. <laughs> what the hell is going on back here? Smoking some Black Lotus! Alright, and this is the Brawlers. Alright, and let's see what's down in stock while we're over here. This place is a maze. What's over here? And that's the end of that dock. Oh, there's a door right there. A beggar boy. You know anything? Some gold, please? Give him a gold. Thank you. Alright, this door is locked, and it's called a hideout. Does this guy know anything about it? Good day to you. No. Alright, yes. let's go see if we can pick this. A specific key is required. Alright, and this goes back to the Grim guys, right? Or am I kind of lost here? 
Oh yeah, there they are over there. Alright, we can't get any further that way. Let's make sure there's no doors here. Nope. Alright, let's go back down this way then. And what do we have down here? Right, and there's the hideout door. Let's keep going. Oh, this just ends back here. A suspicious building that's locked. Hmm, let's see if we can get into this. A specific key is required. Alright, we're going to have to come back to these places later, apparently. Alright, I don't see any other doors over this way, so... Let's just keep going south then toward the docks. Another commoner over here. Alright, where is everybody? What? Somebody's lagging behind. What are you doing way over here? Is she glitching or something? Let's go. Yeah, she is. Alright, let's go back here then. Alright. Let's go this way. Uh oh. What the hell is going on now? Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's see. We in position to get a sneak attack here? This shouldn't take long. Alright. Let's see what we have here in the remains. And some more of the same. Ooh, we got a scroll here. Alchemist fire, some poison. Thunderstone. Okay. Alchemist Fire, we can pass that stuff off. Healer's Kits, let's pass them off. Poison Bolts. Let's go ahead and equip those. And Thieves Tools plus three, let's pass them off. And a Scroll of Poison Clerics and Druids, let's pass that off. Oh, he's got it already. And a Thunderstone. Yes. And pass that off. Follow me. And some poison. Who can take advantage of that? I think that stuff only works on blades. Yes. What? I guess we can give it to Lorik. Yes. It's usually got to be somebody with a high dexterity. Follow me. Well, let's pass that Very off. Very well. All right. Now I'm kind of annoyed with this bug that we got going on here. Right, let's see if we can go back over here. Maybe if we go back inside that building and come back out, she'll be able to move. Everybody, yeah, she... follow me! Yeah, she's stuck in here. Can't get her out of there. Alright, can we get back inside the Merchant's Guild then? What? And then come back out? Alright, we have everybody. Yep, we have everybody. Alright, let's see if we can go back yes. out now. All right, we have everybody with us. Nobody's stuck. All right, we got everybody this time. All right, let's go back to Leia Cool. And we got some damage going on here. You know what? Very let's go ahead well. and sort that out. Let's get zero oh, fixed yes. up. Oh. Very well. Let's use up these miners. Oh. Yes. And let's get a little bit of Nile too. And Very I guess we well. can hit him with one more. Santos. All right, that's enough. Let's go. All right, who do we have here? Dwarf, half orc, half elf, sailor, wool. It's a cutscene. Are you guys going to help me or what? Please, I'm really desperate. Let's talk about the details one more time. Reward included, of course. Look, there's no hidden purpose here. I'm not withholding any information from you. The ship I was crew of got invaded by something. And I say something because I have no idea what it was. All I know is that they are immune to all of our normal swords and axes. To be honest, they look like ghosts of some kind. Hmm. Anyway, I managed to escape by jumping in the sea. I cannot say that the rest of the crew was so lucky. Now, all I want is to clear the ship from the invaders and claim it as my own. 
be a captain and not just a sailor. But I cannot possibly do it on my own. That's why I ask you. You are adventurers, right? Mercenaries, please help me. I don't know. What's in it for us? I said I'm broke. All I have is a couple of items I took from my friend's dead bodies while escaping. But we are five. Two items make the math. Don't be greedy, you stupid elf. We have to help, because we do. The material reward comes second, always. What? Are you serious? And when did we ask about your opinion on this? The only reason you are still around is because you can heal us. Remember that. <laughs> Me says do. Always a sophisticated response. I thought so. Well, in any case, reward or not, I don't think it's worth a risk. Where did you say the ship got abandoned? In Bailey's Point, right? That's right. Just off the shore it was when I left it. If only a bit more luck, more of my mates would have done it. I think we should ditch this one and go find ourselves some bounty on bandits or something. A ship, no matter how big, is nothing compared to the stash bandits might have. Yes, a dungeon of some sort. This ain't worth the risk to go to Bailey's Point, or the reward. Let's move. You pansies, come back here! Come back and help me! Oh, what now? More adventurers? You overheard the situation, I guess. And I'm certain that you won't help me as well. Oh, contraire. Two items are enough for us. <laughs> oh, isn't that splendid? This is good news. Trust me, the items are worth the time and effort. Plus, you might get the captain's secret room. Crazy man must have kept all kinds of hidden treasure there. Oh, how can we reach the ship of yours? Unfortunately, I have lost all my belongings during the incident, including maps, so I guess you have to rely on another source to get there. This was a request for help for people who already know their way, or if they don't and accept it, to just remember me just in case they are ever around there. Only thing is that you'll need this to unlock the hatch. I locked it on my way out so that the creatures won't follow me. That'll do. Until the time then, farewell. Right, we got a hatch key. Journal updated, ghost ship. A sailor in Cordour docks seeks help to liberate the ship he was part of, its crew from ghosts. The ghost invaded the ship just outside Bailey's Point, and he is the sole survivor. Once you clear the ship, he will claim it as a captain. He promised you a couple of items as a reward. Unfortunately, he couldn't guide you there, so you just have to remember him if you ever reach this place. <laughs> Level 7 to 9 quest. Alright. Uh, and a merchant. Found your way to the place where the law of Cordier has no reach? I got weapons for sale, but make it quick. Wait a minute, what are you? A tiefling, what about it? First time you talk to a tiefling? Uh, yes. Well, I have demonic ancestry. Is that a reason for you to look at me from up high? Do you always judge people from appearances and only? <laughs> now, will you buy something or what? Yeah, show me what you have. Alright, no armor. But she does have some weaponry. Plus one and plus two stuff, it looks like. And... Did I pass by Bastard Swords? Bastard Sword plus two for almost eight grand. Hmm. I don't see anything unique though, just plus one and plus two stuff. Let's see what else she has. No trinkets, no usables, and no miscellaneous stuff. Alright, let's see, we can sell some of this junk. Um, let's pass off some of this stuff. Let's see, will he buy these tools? Yes. Yes, she will. I'm going to keep the plus threes and the plus sixes. And cure light wounds, we can get rid of that stuff. Uh, let's hold on to the holy water. This army or armor can go away. And the darts. Let's pass them off. Alright, and all these history books I'm going to keep, I think. They might come in handy. Yeah, let's hold on to them. What? Alright, and what do we have over here we can sell? Uh, 
I'm gonna keep all that stuff. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of gifts. We should probably check everybody again and see if any of these will work on anybody. Oh, that bag of holding. Let's activate that thing again. Got a healer's kit out of it. All right. And yeah, we still have this flame staffs manual too. That increases intelligence, so I'm gonna keep that for later. All right, yes. moving on. Let's identify this helm. A dragon sight. Diplomacy penalty minus two. Intimidate plus one and see invisibility once a day. Hmm. Who could we give that to? Maybe we can give that to Cyril. He doesn't really need diplomacy. Yes. Or even Nile. Well, no, she's using that one. Leia Cool. Hmm. Maybe we can give it to Leia Cool. What? How can I help? Let's take a closer look at that thing again. Diplomacy, intimidate, and visibility. Yeah, you know what? Let's give it to Leia Cool. He can equip that thing. See, invisibility comes in handy sometimes. How can I help? And let's see what else we have. Bunch of scrolls. We're gonna keep all them. And all this crafting material, we're gonna keep our hands on that stuff too. Yes. Alright, Wallerin, what do we have here? Green stones, we can get rid of that. Short sword mold, let's pass that off. And this armor can go away. And the rest of this stuff we can keep. Yes. Alright. And I'm probably gonna keep all the rest Very of this stuff well. too. Let's move these holy waters yes. over here. Yeah, let's hold on to the rest of this stuff. Alright, I guess we can save up for this Bastard Sword plus two later on. We do have uh, just over six grand. Alright, let's continue what? on. And it looks like we're running up on time once again. Alright, let's take a quick look around this area here. Prostitute, dock worker. Hi there. Dock worker, commoner. There's something back here. Let's take a quick look. Nothing over here. Alright, yeah, we're running up on time. I'm gonna have to search the rest of these docks later. Yeah, it goes out there and goes way out there. And that probably goes up toward the prison. And there's a sewer pipe over there. Alright, we're gonna investigate that in the next episode. Let's end her here.